Have you ever driven along a stream and seen a field of plastic tubes seemingly growing out of the ground? These are tree tubes or tree shelters. They are installed to protect young trees that are planted along a stream as part of a riparian buffer. These tubes are designed to give trees a fighting chance against weeds and wildlife and will protect the trees for several years, making riparian buffer plantings easy to spot from a distance. Streamside plants are crucial for slowing and filtering stormwater before it gets into streams. Rain and snow runoff leads to pollution, which has a negative effect on people and wildlife, who all depend on water to live. Communities are increasingly getting people involved in planting new trees with these shelters. Creating new riparian buffers protects our streamside areas and local water quality. When you see them, recognize that there are efforts going on in your community to protect freshwater streams. Streams are a part of many Pennsylvania communities, in residential areas, on farms, and on commercial, public, and industrial lands. Many areas take great pride in their local waterways, but don't always provide enough of a buffer. Notice how it is mowed right up to this creek's edge. Unfortunately, because of this lack of a riparian buffer, some communities also quickly learn that streams can be powerful eroding their property away and potentially doing damage to their lawns, driveways, bridges, and cropland. In addition to impacting the land, the quality of the water is also affected by the sediment pollution that comes from eroding and unstable stream banks. The lack of any filter between the nearby land uses and the water means pollution on the land can easily wash into the water as well. Trees and shrubs can make a great filter and help stabilize the soil on stream banks, and the tree tubes help them grow. When growing along the edges of a stream, these trees and shrubs are known as a riparian buffer. Because riparian buffers are rather simple to plant, and trees and supplies are often available from conservation organizations at low or no cost, many conservation groups and landowners are choosing to plant new riparian buffers to improve their streams. Mike Brubaker of Mount Joy discusses the advantages of tree tubes on his property. We're establishing a riparian buffer so we're growing these trees and bushes as an extra way of uh, protecting the land around the water and by protecting the land around the water we're protecting the water and for public lands planting riparian buffers is a great opportunity for the community to come together they are great opportunities for communities for associations watershed groups the conservation district to engage the public in the planting effort, uh, from an education standpoint, uh, ongoing education standpoint. When this takes place, you might see community members working in their buffer to help ensure its success. If you see them, ask how you can get involved. There is always work to do for riparian buffers. Here, Rob Frank, the watershed specialist for the Dauphin County Conservation District, is removing a tree's tube along the Swatara Creek that has helped this tree thrive. It now has a strong trunk and roots. Rob discusses how the tree's roots function to keep the water clean. The tree roots here help to keep the water clean by intercepting pollutants that are washing over the land and towards Rotara Creek. These riparian buffers also offer many other benefits, including creating outstanding wildlife habitat, which is good for fishermen, hunters, and bird watchers alike. Riparian buffers are one of many best management practices being used in communities to protect water quality. Jen Dunlap from the Manada Conservancy encourages community members to get involved. One thing I would encourage is for anyone to get involved with their local organization, partner up with Manada Conservancy or any local group that you know that's hosting these tree plantings and come out and plant a tree for a day. So check with your local conservation organizations to see if you can take part in protecting streams in your community. And if you have a stream on your property, consider planting a riparian buffer there.